the automatic store unit commercialized under the trademark operations protection was this like an fbi warning office consists of several normally you save the fine print for the end up the smart locker and op app which gives you the chance to sell Ooh, whatever pee. you like as well as other we just products. sell whatever you like even if you don't own it <laughs> no i never said i'm wanna ah uh. huh who am i who's cheering yeah the hell is this? I think it's a child's nightmare. As you can be my boss. Is he running against Waldo in Black Mirror or something? I am your smart locker. Use me to sell your items in a fast way and as easy as to put them inside me. Amazing, isn't it? Terrifying, maybe? Be able to access through a web or app. I think this is a boss in Nier Automata. Buy or reserve the items chosen as well as check the catalog. Do you want to know more? Come on, I wish I had a nose. You want to sell Stop showing me the products. It's frightening. Wow, did you just see his naked butt shop, there? A library. Crazy. A school. A gym. Follow me. I'm going to place myself. Uh, Wait, what does this do? Right there. Where I, everybody can it's see a me. smart you locker? Me. Did you know I can ever change what? my colors? Isn't that amazing? I have my own mood ring. <laughs> don't you want to be my boss yet? Anyone can come and buy a product just using a mobile phone. Is that easy? Uh, I don't do want to be your boss. A laptop, a handbag, maybe some sunglasses or perhaps a toy. Do you like my stock sound effects of money that are obviously very cheap? Just put it inside me. Everything is automatic. Stop phrasing it like that. <laughs> and I keep selling. Crowd choosing an odd time to cheer there. 24-7 if it takes. I never get tired. That's me. <laughs> what do you think? I think I'm very lost. Where are you going, Ope? Your no, Ope. Locker makes you earn money. Please save me. Why does he? Why do they keep saying up? It's clearly Oop. Uh. So, in case you weren't sure what that was, it's obviously the mini shop that helps you to make money. We're Bice. convinced. We are convinced that our Oop project, your smart box, is necessary because applying the collaborative economy can help both. What? What? <laughs> I can't even begin to parse that. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I think this confused too many people. <laughs> Nothing. It's no backers. It started with no backers, yeah. Oop is born with the objective uh, that any person, company, or trade can start a business without assuming greater economic risks. Such as bringing a box to life, yeah. In addition, this product is designed for all those who want to make have a physical mini market where they can sell everything they want in a very different way than usual. So you put all your crap in the smart locker, and what is it, like a Resident Evil chest? It automatically goes somewhere else where another person can buy your stuff? So this is what you do, I think. There's like a locker, and it looks like if you want to sell something to someone, you could like have it as like a display case. That There's an app involved in that somehow. So it displays via the app to other people who also buy into Oop? No, I think it's like you show them the big, like, transparent case, and you're like, this is what I'm selling to you. You clearly can't get to it and steal it from me because it's protected by um, Op. So I'll need my, I, my app to unlock it and give you the item within it, I think. Okay, Maybe. well, if you're even if you're still confused, if you scroll down a little bit further, there's either a diagram or a crime scene. Okay, where you can all right. see all the different parts. Okay, you can see number one is a smartphone. What? Hey. Wait, how is number one a smartphone? Oh, because it's got the four buttons on the bottom slash right there. I don't know why we labeled commercial brand in number three. Also, number two is the id. <laughs> Number six is company features, excuse me? Hmm. Number 18 is the city of Anchorage, Alaska. Period. Done. Uh, wait, I thought I kind of had a handle on what OOP was, but now I'm not really sure. Yeah, uh, company data? That's not a lot of data. That's a website. Wait. So here's what I don't get, right? This yeah. is a locker. Uh -huh. And I'm assuming the idea of the locker is that you lock your item in it so that people can't steal it. Sure. But you run into the classic problem of then, well, why don't you just steal the whole thing so you can, like, break it at home later? Well, you know what I mean? Well, it'll sprout arms and legs and come back to you like we saw in the video. Oh, is that is that it? Yeah, that's I think so. That's number, like, um, 13 or something. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, I don't know if you're ready for the pledge goals. <laughs> but for one euro or more, recognition in a mural. Wow, that's different. <laughs> oh, what the? Okay. Sure. Where will be the photos of the people who have contributed to make this project come true? <laughs> um, 20 euros or more. One year with you, BAP. You go forward in time? What? Uh, <laughs> uh, 50 or more, five years with the OOP app. Uh, so you huh? can only use the app for a limited time? Wait a minute, maximum 10 products? So why would you only sell 10 things over the course of five years? Um, you will also have the possibility to offer a place for OOP to be installed in it. What? Huh? Oh, so it's like they'll drill this into it, they'll bolt this to a wall or something. I suppose. Okay, so then for about 500 bucks, you get the yeah. smart mini shop. You get your own intelligent mini shop that will allow you, through the Oop app, to sell both the product that shows at the box, of the box office that shows at the box office and other products that you have created in the Oop app. Oh, I see what they meant by school and gym. Okay, okay. This is how this, this terrible thing works. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. You install this somewhere in public that I guess you somehow had permission to do it. Like, you drill it into something. And then you put your unique item that you want to sell in it. Yeah, so you can set up a shop anywhere, provided the person who owns the property is okay with this. So this is supposed to be a portable store. Like a very super, super specialty store. A store with an inventory of one thing. Preferably a purse of some sort. But, like, when, why would it be more like a vending machine design so you could have, like, I, three things? Uh, at least. What? Um, and then, okay, you have your smart mini shop for 480, right? Uh-huh. Or for about 500. For about 533, you get the Dollaphallus Oop. Valencia. What? Is that, like, a Zelda item? What are they talking about? Uh... The handmade, by, handmade by hand. <laughs> and, <laughs> All right. Okay. So it's a super special looking case, I guess. Um, okay. I, okay. So I guess I kind of get what they're doing, but. Oh my God. Do you know what the Nina of Fall or the doll of Phallus oop is? What is it? Scroll down. Um. Okay. And you'll find out. Customize. It says, Nino to Fala, Oop of Reward. Be ready. I, oh, oh, whoa, no. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> That's what you get. What better way to make your product look appealing than to put it in a very sick-looking animated box? <laughs> what if I have to sell something that doesn't fit in Oop? Why does he look so sad? <laughs> What? I know why. I mean, yeah. <laughs> he's been assigned a very ill fate, but... This is... I think he's. it's less him being sad and more him recognizing what, it, what kind of pro... Like, so I'm when so you, sorry for the people who made this. So when you nail him to something, do you, like, crucify him? How does it work? His hand's That's sticking like... out like that. <laughs> Please, put something inside me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. I hope it doesn't get stolen. What the hell? Risks and challenges. To do the project without problems, we should get 60,000 euros. Mm. Well, first of all, that's not... Uh, yeah! So the risk will be entirely mitigated if you just throw money at it. That That's just saying the risk is we might not make the goal, really. Well, you know. What the hell? Look under updates. Raffle of Nino Filero Oop, one euro canceled. Aww. Raffle canceled of the Nino. We're sorry. Oh, so they were going to raffle one off, and then three days after the project launched, they're like, that can't work. <laughs> Maybe after <laughs> they saw that nobody was interested. <laughs> like, one person would win it. It's just like, oh, that's... Well, so far, zero people would win the raffle. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. And you can see a prototype, appearance prototype of the Oop box. Uh, I gotta be honest, With I don't the, know if I want to. There's a person taking a picture of the Oop box for sale in the Oop box. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to buy that. The box looks so unappealing. I really don't understand, like, how... Like, why wouldn't you just use eBay? Yeah, 
I was thinking that earlier. Like, just like, sell the thing. Like, that's, that's been pretty set. Don't you want a physical store to buy things in the age of the internet? <laughs> right. Don't you want to go have people go to a very specific place and limit the market of people who could buy your thing? What are you, like, effing crazy in 2017? <laughs> now, this may sound outdated, but we have an app for this. So Wait, what if you could have what if you could have a store just anywhere? Motherfucker, you can! It's called the internet! <laughs> You're using it to get money right now! Have you heard of Etsy? <laughs> I, I <laughs> You are asking me digitally to give you money in a remote location that you're currently not at to give me a product that requires the bath. Now, Sloby, if I know you could have, like, a special shirt with a cool design that you kind of custom make very easily, but what if you pay someone to make a really sick-looking box and then <laughs> stick something in it, and then only a very limited number of people who go somewhere will see what you have to sell? Doesn't that nah, sound you know, good? I'm good. I'm okay. Oh. oh thank you. Oh. oh. I'm good. Thank you. Oops. <laughs> <laughs>